Carlos lived there, Von Boschel lived there, that was a post office at one time when Beth and I married right mm -hmm. Beth. And that's the post office for Union. Uh, let's see, the ham house is right over here. Here's the garage. That was the Hicks garage uh, that later became Ruben Har the Hartley's hardware store. <laughs> Uh, right here. <laughs> right. It has to be Union. Yeah, it's out of the picture. It's here. Yeah, Union Station Hardware is the Union Station saloon, and that's gone through many transformations. We had pictures of it at one time. It was called the. At one time, it was called the Lone Star. Uh, during the Civil War, they kept the Big Eagle, the Eagle. The Lone Star, and then they changed it back to the Big Eagle. Today it's called uh, the uh, Union Station, but when I grew up, it was called the Joint. <laughs> right? Right? Huh? Okay. The Joint. Because Mom and Dad said, don't go to the Joint. <laughs> okay. Thank you. First, first yeah. was that the hotel right there? Yes. Yeah. The the yes. There's the Union. School number 35 basketball team, right there, Tommy uh, Townsend. Townsend, Tommy Townsend, right here. Patsy Slayback, James' oh. sister, Patsy, Mary Bell, name them as I go along. Mary Bell, Lucille Craddock, Lucille Craddock, Lucille Lucille Craddock. Craddock. Emily, Emily Bristow, Molly Townsend, Christine, and the coach is done. And I mean, I got to see these girls play when they did go to New Haven the next year as a, as a youngster. And they were great. Our girls' basketball team in the Union community. Those are the three eight in the yeah. back. One, two, three. Yeah. Those are the ones that. That's all the men to New Haven. Oh, I thought that's all the ones that were great. I remember Tommy Townsend being kind of great. Okay. Uh, but, oh, yeah. but they want everything. They want everything. Okay, next picture. Uh, here, uh, who's that? Anne Marie Ayo from Hamilton. Yes, and because Hamilton, they let her. She was the only graduate, so they sent her to you. Uh -huh. Hamilton School opened that year. And she because she would have been a senior. She graduated with Anne Marie Bristow because Anne Marie was the only one for you. Oh, there. Okay. All right, next. Ah, building US 42. And, and there's the the, uh, the store, the brick store, Masonic Hall and store. This is as it moved through downtown Union. And my brother and I, while that was under construction, we would go out and play in the middle of the road and have so much fun and build sand piles and snow and anything in the middle of that road. Then all of a sudden, they opened the damn thing up and cars came up. <laughs> and my brother and I couldn't get used to that fact that we would go out and play in the road and we got switched so many times <laughs> because we thought you could still play in the middle of that road. So that's 1930, 31, uh, right in that frame of time. And uh, this is Elaine, is it? Yeah. Elaine Reno. <coughs> and, and there is the store. And this is where we used to always vote in the storage room. That, that, that came down a number of years ago, the storage room. But there's the side, there's the door that went up to the Sonic Lodge upstairs. <coughs> the Eastern Star and, and the Sonic Lodge 304 that was founded in 1854. And my great great grandfather, Abraham Stansford, was one of the fountains of that lodge. They met upstairs and the bank was, uh, the, the grocery stores were downstairs. The post office was operated out of there. Norman Huey, in my view, was the post office. Do you have any idea what that is behind her? That? Yes, on sales. Uh, Gas pump, or kerosene. Most yes. yes. likely kerosene, don't you Bruce, think? Bruce, that is a kerosene pump and the yeah. tank was still on the ground when you come to that building now. Yeah, yeah. I need that. Under there? Yeah, that that's kerosene actually, that's kerosene. Kerosene. That. Mm -hmm. What happened to that building? Oh, yeah. It got torn down like a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. It was where will it be today? It was in bad shape. I have to admit it. It was in bad shape. There was nobody could figure out what to do with it. 
I mean, I hated to see it go, but... Bruce? <laughs> yes. I mean, that was all for two months on the historical side. Yeah. We looked at that from church ball. Yeah. We looked at that yeah. back. But they had to take too many things out of it. We changed some of the windows. <laughs> I, I agree, and I'm a strong preservationist, but, but there was hardly any way to salvage that and use it. Do you have one of the? Yeah, somebody came by and took those rings out. I saw them the day they were doing that, and I thought, oh, gee, I think I'll go down and get one. But, oh, I... Bruce, yeah. if you talk real good, I'll see if you get one. Hey, okay. <laughs> Did you take them out? Oh, good. I gave it See, I'm glad somebody did. I gave it to one of the oldest members of church. She has one. Okay. I, I'm glad they, they were saved. Her dad was one of the first deacons. And, and so identify it. You know, put a label on it. The old hitching range. And you could end up with the one that I hitched the team to of noodles on my way over to the top. Bruce? Uh, okay. Yes. I'm new in the area. I've only been here three yes. years. Where would that be? Now, oh, or where the Baptist Church tore it down to accommodate their new churches. It's okay. on the very corner. Okay. It's on the corner that a school bus can't turn up. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Uh, Mount Zion at 42. That was, that was on the corner. The corner being over there. Oh, this is taken in the door. There's Don Tanner, one of the greatest. Uh, Madeline Craddock. Croom, T.C. Croom, and that's Baldy uh, Dickerson, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think that's Baldy, and he at one time ran a store across the street from it. <coughs> this is taken in that door that went into the store. Right here would have been the door that went upstairs to the lodge. Don Tanner, wonderful guy. Every, boy, everybody loved Don Tanner. Okay. Ah, here's a bit of history that... It was, this made the papers a few years ago, and uh, this is, we're in the 1940s now, 1946 or 7, right in that period of time, when Jim Thorpe came to Union, and he even stayed in my great-grandfather's house, because ben, Benny Zimmer at that time was running the joint in Union, and Jim Thorpe was down on his luck, traveling the country, trying to stir up, sell pamphlets, and, uh, and stories about himself. He'd like to give speeches, anything to keep alive. Here he was known as the greatest athlete of the century. And he was down, so far down on his luck that he was bumming. Huh. And, and he went into what is now the Union Station when Benny Zimmer was living there. Benny, my, my mother was renting Benny Zimmer, the house where Beth and I lived, my great-grandfather's house right across, next to Brown School, opposite Park Town Road. And, uh, and, and Jim Thorpe spent a couple of nights there, and some of the people in Union, so Benny kind of took him down the store, and people would come in, and not like Pete Rose, he'd sign a signature free. It's kind of a highlight in Union, the world's greatest athlete spent a couple of nights in Union in my old house. Oh, Miss Maddie, Maddie Dudes who taught me in the first grade, who taught everybody, who taught everybody, and she taught forever. And I'll never forget the day she caught me chewing chewing. Me. I got out of it, folks. I told her my mother gave it to me. It was <laughs> That will go, that bird, that I will rest with me the rest of my life. She did not make me put it on the end of my nose. She meant something made me spit it out. But, ah, uh, Miss Patty, bless her heart. Okay, ah, uh, the patriarchs of the Union. James Addison Huey. Tom Huey's grandfather, right? I mean, the J.M.'s grandfather, the last thing. Uh, Joe Huey's father. Okay, James Addison Huey and his wife, who lived what copsers, in my youth, it was the Kearns house. Yeah, okay. Here I am. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, because your grandfather uh, would take my brother and me, he would pick us up, and then go up Frog Town Road and pick up Russell and Bob Doan and take us to church, <laughs> the Baptist Church in Union. Anyway, that, that, they lived in the house. That's known as the Huey House. And then they later moved. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they were. I, absolutely. If ever a community had a patriarch and a matriarch, it was boss Jimmy Huey. 
See, we had little Jimmy Huey and Boss Jimmy Huey. Boss Jimmy was James Addison. Okay, that lovely little girl happens to be with us. Mary Let's see. Bell. Mary Bell Brister, right here. So should that if you have beauty at last or <laughs>
Oh, this is directly across from Union Station. They're standing in front of Union Station, the joint. And they're standing across from the joint. So that's the first big house when you drive into Union, up on the hill. 1869 was when it was built. It's been extensively remodeled. Okay, and here Clay Hudson, wonderful guy. There again, in front of the, the brick the, uh, store and post office. Uh, Clay was hauled all work and livestock. Oh, wonderful guy. And uh, uh, well, Robertson Hudson, uh, Bernie Hudson, that's the Clay Hudson family. Okay. Ah, the two Barlow boys and their mother at the hotel. See, that's still standing, that building. They're, they're looking, you might say, at the Union Station or the Joint. But look at that Wisteria or whatever they had to drink or whatever. But uh, Tuffy and his brother here are Okay, this is again taken in front of the log cabin, the slave cabin. Spitty, no. Ah, uh, Sister Baby? No, somebody, when I said Sister Baby, yeah, Lori said, what do you mean Sister Baby? <laughs> I was her name, Marilyn, I guess. Is that right? I never called her anything. Sister Baby. Tom Robert Huey. See, you had to always put in that middle name when you got the Huey. There's Tom Matson Huey, Tom Robert Huey. His son was Tom Matson, not Carmen. There, I said, one of the most beautiful women. Who's that? Uh, Norma Rochelle Huey. Tom Robert Huey's wife. Who who's had Tom Huey. Tom Matson. Tom Matson Huey. Sally. And, and Sally. Uh, Ralph Carmo, and this is when Ralph came back from World War II. They darn near shot his arm off in France. Huh. That arm right there, right? Uh, um, mm. that he, he was wounded severely. Jenny Clay, God love her, right behind Ralph. And my mother, uh, who is that speaking? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mary Bell. <laughs> Malone Liggett, he was in the Marines. He was a corpsman in the Marines. And Johnny Lee. And when I said Johnny, she says, well, where's Johnny? I don't see him on there. That's Johnny Leggett. She, her name was Johnny. And sister, baby sister. And sister, baby sister, Johnny. <laughs> and I know Dickerson. Those are all Dickersons. And keep in mind, the Dickersons related to the Stansbergs. So that's why I was, we were related to everybody. Okay. Ah, the house on the hill, the old Hicks home. Patricia pretty well grew up there. And uh, Harvey lived there. Did Sammy live there? Did Jimmy, everybody, did they all grow up there? Yeah, everybody lived there. Everybody lived there. Uh, that's uh, Rosemont Stables now. This is the hill behind the bank across the creek uh, in Union next to the Judge House. We should have a picture of the Judge House when we got this. Okay, but I grew up. Oh, this is the corner of Union. That's my mother right there in the middle of the little girl. And that house is now Dr. Wright's parking lot. Oh. And, and whose house was it, Mary Bell? Nina Stevens' house. Yeah. Nina. Nina Stevens. Uh, and this is Mary Bell's house after the 93 tornado went through Mary Bell. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see all the debris there? Yeah. Uh, the Union Presbyterian Church. Oh, uh, I remember Beth and I going there right after got married and had the pot bellied stove in the middle of the of the aisle as you walk down into the church. And then the Spears, May Spears, she was so the Spears founded that church. Uh, this is the Baptist Church, the Union Baptist Church. As typical in those days, two doors. Notice the Presbyterians only had one door. <laughs> the Baptists always had two doors. The Big Bell Baptist Church had two doors. The Union Baptist Church had two doors. Glen Potter Church had two doors. I bet Sardis had two doors. Why, Jim, as a Baptist minister? Well, the men, the men went in the right door and the women went in the left door. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the blacks sat in the back. And the blacks sat in the big boat, they, they sat in the bar. Spitty No at the Union Garage. Uh, and this is about 1947, or right in there. And, uh, is that Don's Garage? No, no, no. This is the Union Station. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, this is a relatively new picture of Union when the deposit bank was there, and that's the easy stop 
And there is the, the corner store, as you see. This is a relatively modern with a picture of you. Not a great deal of change that you can identify on that. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. This is a part of that girls' basketball team. There's Patsy Slayback. Patsy Slayback. Um, that's Johnny. Madeline there, isn't it? Or, Madeline there. That's now Joe. Now Joe Hicks. Now Joe Hicks. Lucille Craddock. Lucille Craddock and? That's you. That's Maribel. <laughs> Okay, uh, and see post office, did you know? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hey, man. Oh, did we cut off some? No, no. It's time to end. Okay. Uh, and so, see, that's that's how we end this thing. Oh, yes, man. Two minutes. Do you ever recall it being called Union Station? Or was it always Union? No, no, no. That's new. What, oh, so, so Union Station was That's never new. attached to the town? The town was not called. No, no, no. That's just the name of the joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She has trains in there. And she kind of took on the word Union Station. Oh, God. Has no, no historical bearing, whatever. Okay. Uh, Ann Fillmore, who showed the book you did, Ann. I just want to mention that um, we are going to do a reprint of this book, and there are a lot of stories that should be in here that aren't. When I did this book, I was, uh, I actually am from Utah, and so people would say, why are you who are from Utah doing a book about Union, Kentucky? And the reason was is because there were a lot of stories that needed to be told. And some of the people